Welcome to this week's very special episode of the Who the Folk podcast. I'm Lonnie Goldsmith, the editor of TC Jew Folk. We're here in Tel Aviv as part of the Minneapolis Jewish Federation's Experience Israel 2023 Mega Mission. And just before Shabbat started this week, I got to sit down to talk with the U.S. Ambassador to Israel and Duluth native Thomas Nides. So a little backstory here. Nides addressed the 250-member delegation on the trip prior to our sitting down, so there are a couple references to the address he had made previously. Also, it was a very tight five-minute chat with a hard out time for him, so I was doing my best to talk quick and be respectful of his time. Obviously, the ambassador is a busy guy, and I was very grateful for any time that we were able to have with him. Also, this was recorded with a live audience of sorts. There were a few people from the trip and the ambassador staff in the room, so there may be some background noise. It only adds to the authenticity of the conversation. I hope you enjoy it. Ambassador Thomas Nides, welcome to the Who the Folk podcast. Thank you for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, huge honor to have you join us uh, here in Tel Aviv as part of the uh, Experience Israel 2023 mission. Uh, obviously, really interesting times right now in Israel. Being on the ground here with all that's going on uh, with internal policy issues, rocket attacks that happen, what's your role with respect to U.S. policy and the response and how the U.S. government sort of works with the Israeli government? Well, first, uh, I'm glad to be here with all my Minnesota friends. As you know, I'm a Minnesotan uh, and uh, from Duluth. And this, I, I'm told, is the largest delegation that's come here. Uh, so I'm th- honored to be uh, asked to speak. Uh, listen, our, uh, as I've said uh, many times, my role is this unbreakable bond between the United States and Israel. The cooperation that we have with Israel on security matters um, is not just the highest level, it's through the whole institution. The IDF with uh, the Department of Defense, um, our security, our uh, the CIA, Shin Bet, Mossad, these, all these security agencies work hand-in-hand with Israel to make sure uh, that we keep Israel a, a democratic, secure country. Uh, and that's what I do. That's what I spend my time on. And I spend a lot of time making sure, as you know, Israel is in a very dangerous neighborhood to keep it as safe as humanly possible. What is holding Israel accountable when it needs to be mean to you, though? And how does that work with your role? Well, listen, to be clear, we're, our relationships, as the president has said, this is an unbreakable bond between our two countries. It's, uh, we are about ready to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the state of Israel. Uh, Harry Truman did a nice job when he decided that Israel uh, needed, to be, uh, uh, needed to, the endorsement of the United States. So we were the first. Um, but we're friends. You know, friends sometimes disagree. <laughs> My job as the ambassador is on occasion uh, to uh, express when things uh, aren't going always as well. And that's what friends do. But make no mistake, it's an unbreakable bond. Uh, Joe Biden, as I said a few minutes ago, got off the airplane on his 10th visit to Israel and made the following statement. To be clear, you do not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. He meant that in his heart and his kishkas. He understands it. He cares deeply about this relationship. And my job is to represent him and the United States of America and the American people. And that relationship is unbreakable. What is it that drew you in initially to government service and what keeps you coming back? Well, first of all, I told a funny story. I, you know, I, my first, uh, uh, my first real touch with, uh, political fame uh, with, was having Walter Mondale as my uh, high school graduation speaker in Duluth, Minnesota. And then I became an intern for Mondale when he was vice president. And my, my office mate was none, uh, none other than Amy Klobuchar. Basically, Amy tells a story that she did all the work and I did nothing. <laughs> Sadly, it turned out okay for the both of us. She, arguably, she's a little more successful than I am. Uh, but nonetheless, um, uh, I, you know, I, I think it was... Uh, Getting involved in, 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 in government and giving back and contributing is, I think, everyone's opportunity to do it, and I'm just doing it in my small way. And Senator Klobuchar, uh, obviously a great friend to the Jewish community and the Twin Cities Jewish community as well. So Yeah, listen, she, she, you know, listen I think she's been here since I've been here at least three or four times. Uh, so uh, she and her husband, John, love the place. I was, she was just with me uh, here with Chuck Schumer, the majority leader, uh, four weeks ago. Uh, so she is not only uh, has a strong relationship with the Jewish community, but she cares deeply about the state of Israel and the Jewish people. And that means a lot to me. And obviously, we're very close friends, but uh, that has nothing to do with our friendship. It has everything to do with her commitment. Last two questions. I know you're very tight on time. Most important things we always end with. First, what is your favorite Jewish holiday? Hanukkah. 
Um, I was I was honored this year, as I was last year, to light the uh, eighth night of the Hanukkah candles at the at the Western Wall, um, and uh, you know, with the rabbi the wall in front of you know ten thousand people, uh, I was able to light that candle and say a little speech. And how cool is that? A little Jewish kid going standing up and lighting the eighth night of Hanukkah, the candle at the Western Wall. Okay, and that to me was a, an enormous uh, gift to me, and, and I was honored that they allowed me to do that. A long way from Duluth, huh? Oh, well, a long way from Duluth, and I, and I um, it's just, you know, it's remarkable. Well, I mean, how, it's just, you know, again, I have to be honest with you. It's a, yeah, I, I think about it all the time and how lucky one could be, and I've been very lucky. And your favorite Jewish food? Uh, you know, Kanish is probably, I really like a really good Kanish. I really like chopped liver. <laughs> I don't want to admit it. I really do. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not good for the old cholesterol, but there's nothing better. Slobbing that on. It's a, uh, uh, the Kugel's also good. I can have a whole list of All stuff. Right. But let me just tell you, I'm hungry right now, and I don't want to get carried away here because I'm actually leaving here right now to go back to Jerusalem and have Shabbat dinner at the King David Hotel. So hopefully some of those little things I just mentioned will be on my plate. Well, hopefully. Uh, Ambassador Nights is an honor to have you on. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. The Who the Folk Podcast is part of the Jew Folk Podcast Network, a product of Jew Folk, Inc. Please subscribe, rate, and review the show wherever you get your podcasts. If you have suggestions for other podcast guests, please email them to me at editor at tcjewfolk.com. For our other shows, check out tcjewfolk.com slash podcast. Podcast.